Hi, I'm Ryan Stevens. And I'm Chris Wynn. And uh, God, a couple weeks ago now, we got to check out uh, Dishonored. Uh, not hands-on, but they did a couple of playthroughs and then answered a bunch of questions. And uh, Dishonored's an interesting game to kind of place, I would say, genre-wise. Like first-person sandbox assassinations. Yeah, Assassin. it, it borrows from uh, a lot of a lot of games. I mean, I kept I just had like a laundry list. This is gonna be kind of a, a Frankenstein preview. Um, because the gameplay footage we've got has all been kind of scenic. You know, it's not really gameplay per se. You'll see there's some like nice like environmental shots and stuff like that. I will say the CG trailer does a good job of conveying, yeah. conveying yeah. what the game has uh, to offer. Um, the first playthrough we saw uh, was the stealth playthrough. They did it stealth-wise and then they did it kind of action-wise. And uh, you had to assassinate two brothers, uh, like high up in the, the world's hierarchy, uh, at a uh, bordello. Um, and I think this is probably the one that you enjoyed more, being a, a stealth the fan. Stealth, yeah, I, I like the stealth a lot. You know, um, being able to just kind of like pour it around uh, was pretty cool. Yeah, there, there's an ability called blink, and it's technically not teleporting. I'm pretty sure you can't go you're through just going solid fast. matter. Yeah, you're just. But it happens pretty fast. instantaneously, yeah. and it kind of puts a little. Um, like it, like a waypoint marker. If you've ever played games where you have squad mates, and you can kind of place it within a certain range, and you can kind of warp right there, which leads to the kind of a even though it's a first person game, there's a kind of a verticality to, to it. So like a lot of running on rooftops, yeah. uh, scoping things out from above, trying to find uh, the best way into this uh, the bordello, uh, which is interesting. They said there's four or five ways yeah. I think to get into there, and. Uh, Another thing for, I think Thief is another, another game that I think people are going to be drawing comparisons to. Uh, and so there's a lot of kind of like randomized elements. Like the two brothers, when they showed us, had randomized locations where they could be. Yeah. Um, so there was a lot of showing off powers, and they were playing kind of, you know, th their guys were souped up, so they had a lot of abilities and stuff like that. Uh, and a lot of, it's a, it's a lot like Bioshock when it comes to using powers. You have a little health meter and a little mana meter, and you know, you, you freeze time, it takes away some mana. You teleport, it takes away some mana. Um, and you regain it by like using potions of sorts. Yeah, so it's kind of like the plasmids and the, the, the blue tonics that yeah. you'd use. Um, so when they inter, in, infiltrated the, the bordello this time, uh, they actually possessed a fish. And that's an ability you can have. You can possess humans later on, and in, in this they actually did. Yeah. But it's an ability you can power up. There's all the abilities seem to have two tiers. Um, we talked about how you could stop time. You can also slow it down. It's the, the first step of that tier. So the possessing the fish, that, that kind of reminded me of Geist, if anyone ever played Geist. And they were possessing fish and rats um, and, and humans. But you have limited abilities, but you know people won't care about you so much. But they did say like guards will have AI routines but you know they'll they'll respond to things. So if they see a rat, they may come and try to stomp you. And it is you. It's not like you're doing mind control and you're leaving your like, own yeah, body. Yeah, it's not a remote control. Yeah. yeah, you are that fish. You <laughs> you are that rat. You are that person. Um, the other example they gave was you could jump off a, a you could possess someone and make them jump to their death, and then you could exit their body at the last second. So that impact wouldn't be as so so great on you. So there's a lot of playing around with the abilities. Mm. It seemed, for example, like one of the abilities, like the slow time. They really, they they were describing how some uh, people would slow time as soon as like a you know a, a rifle would go off, and they would slow the time, possess the person that fired the shot, walk them around while the shot is in midair, and then like get out of their body and let time go again, and they essentially shoot themselves. Yeah, I think they said there's going to be a handful of suicide <laughs> achievements yeah. and uh, trophies. So once they actually made it into the bordello. This was the stealth play. Um, then there was the two brothers, so there was eavesdropping on guards, looking through keyholes. You saw that in the trailer. And you can hear conversations, and they're like, oh, he's in the steam room. So one of the, the guys was with a, you know, a lady of uh, ill repute. Yeah. <laughs> Let's keep things uh, PG. Um, and she, he was talking to her, and he snuck in and uh, turned like the steam valve and actually like blanched him or yeah. boiled him to death. Uh, then the, the other brother, I think these, uh, these are like upper class, they're wearing like ascots and stuff like that. 
he was with a girl and he was uh, like abusing her and he possessed the guy and we thought he was going to actually jump him to his death but he kind of possessed him walked him out of the room and the whole time the prostitutes like uh what's <laughs> what's going on there is a lot of response a lot of in what the vertical demo uh, slice we saw there was a lot of character uh, to what was happening um, and then he kind of just stabbed him in the back and he threw him over the edge if i remember correctly as well i think so yeah afterwards there's so like thief you can also hide bodies drag bodies around uh, for people who find that annoying, there's an, uh, an ability you can actually uh, acquire that makes bodies kind of dissipate into dust, which we didn't actually get to see, but it sounded cool because I like the idea. I like the idea of hiding bodies, but I th think it can be somewhat it becomes, annoying. Yeah, it becomes a chore after a while, right? Yeah, um, and also they didn't show us any of the non-lethal ways to take out people for the assassinations, but they told can, us about them. Yeah. Yeah. So these brothers own like slave mines, and there's actually a way you can like coerce them into being sent to their own mines. For the rest of their days. Yeah, it sounds like these non-lethal methods seem like the pinnacle way to do the like the best possible. Like you, you explored every part of a mission or something like that, and you figure out you learn more information. You're like, hmm, I could potentially eliminate them from the world, but they're still alive. Yeah, I mean, the other one had them basically excommunicating what would be the Pope of this world, and the world isn't Earth, but it's. It's wrapped into an imagination, an, an amalgam of like uh, Victorian London with like whaling and uh, a little bit of sorcery. Uh, in the trailer, there's a that kind of guy who comes into your prison cell is like a representative of the outsider, who's kind of like this like mystical force who kind of bequeaths you. You're, you're, uh, the story is you're a bodyguard uh, for the Empress, and she gets killed, and you're framed, and now you're getting. So that's why where Dishonored comes from. I'm still not the biggest fan of the title of the game. But, uh, and that's you kind of, uh, you know, getting your, your vengeance on the people that have wronged you. Um, I think it seems like there's some sort of conspiracy. And then there's more set up with like, there's a plague going on and it's the government's kind of authoritative. You can kind of see that in the trailer as well. The, the tall boys, those are the guys in the weird like mechanical walkers taking their like vengeance. Strider kind of. Yeah. So felt like a Strider. Their, they watched Hunger Games and they really like bows and arrows. So they like shooting dudes. Um, so, but after you kill your marks, you have to escape. And that's when the game got a little more, for even the stealth play, got a little more hectic. Mm -hmm. um, the guys who made this game, Arcane, um, they did Dark Messiah of Mind and Magic, which uh, is a game I really actually did enjoy, even though I know it has a couple detractors out there. Uh, the sword play is kind of out of that, right out of, out of there. And you know, for anytime you're doing anything first person that's not shooting, you're always kind of putting yourself out there. Um, you know, Mirror's Edge, uh, Xeno Clash, but sword fighting first person, it worked pretty well. You know, you're kind of locked on, you kind of have your, your parries and stuff. And you can see some of the systems from Dark Messiah of Mind and Magic being right in there. Uh, there was these kind of really grotesque kills that come from when you get enough uh, adrenaline, which is right out of Dark Messiah of Mind and Magic. Um, there were some guns, uh, the enemies had guns and you can shoot stuff. Uh, you seemed pretty frail like it, I think this is kind of like it also reminded me a lot of Deus Ex where this is a game where you can go running and gunning as they especially showed us the second time but you can die pretty quickly you seems. can definitely want to want to be safe um, it, it looked like you could get wiped out pretty quickly and it looks like it's not regenerating health I remember you have to like Bioshock uh, apply health upgrades to yourself um, and also like Bioshock uh, it's not really a hub open world it's a game of levels but the levels are Sandbox. Yes, like as we've yes. kind of said, there's a lot of ways to get into places. Um, you'll be rewarded for exploring. Like uh, they said, there was like barnac like rare barnacles and sea flowers. You uh, you, can, you can fence. You can steal things when you're in places and sell these for charms that will augment your own abilities. So you have all these. There's gadgets. There's magic, and then there's straight up weaponry. Zero.